Well, if you're wondering what this chap is doing outside the Paris Motor Show, what he's doing is promoting the alternative car, the car of the future. And here to tell us about the car of the future, the Greenpeace car of the future is a spokesman for Greenpeace. Oliver, what is this car all about? It looks to me pretty much like a Renault Twingo, a conventional Renault Twingo that Renault already sell in France at the moment. What's different about this car? Well, 90% of this car behind me is a Renault Twingo, but the 10% we have changed uh, make it uh, possible that the car behind us uh, needs just half of the fuel. So uh, the efficiency is doubled and Greenpeace thinks that's the first step to help the climate. How do you increase the efficiency, double the efficiency of a vehicle? How come you can do what the car manufacturers cannot do? Uh, mainly three reasons. Uh, the aerodynamic, as you see the car looks like uh, much better now uh, outside and it has a better air resistance. Uh, the second one, we reduced the weight of the car by 195 kilograms. And the third and most important one is we have a different motor engine inside. And this engine has highest efficiency under normal conditions. What is the engine exactly? It's a two-cylinder boxer motor petrol engine uh, with only 360 uh, cubic centimeters and a supercharger that uh, puts pressure waves in the engine and causes them to have a very high efficiency. How slow is this vehicle? What is its top speed? Uh, the speed and the other performances of this car are nearly the equivalent to that of the original car. So you're telling me you can do 90 miles an hour, 120, 130 kilometers an hour in a car that even has more, yes. even more perhaps, even more, in a yeah. car that has only 360 cc's yep. and it will do twice as much on one litre of fuel than a conventional car. That's right, and what uh, uh, experts tell us that this car in serial production would even have the same price or only a slightly increased price compared to the original Twingo. So Greenpeace thinks that a car, and we think that the car industry can do the same that uh, the Swiss engineers working for us have done. So what we want the car industry to do is that they build these cars instead of the now existing cars. The Twingo is just an example and we think that all cars could be doubled in efficiency. All right, what is the reaction from Renault? You've gone to all this trouble, you've mm. based your vehicle on their car, the Twingo. What is the official reaction mm. from Renault headquarters in France? Are they interested? Are they asking you mm. to tell them more? Are they telling you to go away? Yeah. What are they saying? Well, when they first heard on the car some months ago, they said, well, it's impossible, it doesn't work, and uh, you will get technical problems. Meanwhile, we showed that the car runs. It has already, already been in uh, Germany, in Switzerland, in uh, Brussels, and now in France. Why don't you just go into the car manufacturing business yourself and put all these irresponsible car manufacturers out of business? Well, Greenpeace is not a car manufacturer, and uh, it's not our, not our task to do that. What we can show is that it's possible and uh, but we can do one or two cars like these but uh, we cannot do a million so uh, of course the big car companies have to do this job and that's what we want not only Renault but the others too.